हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द माय चैनल एंड द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ ए एस पी डॉट नेट यूजिंग सी शॉप इन दिस सेशन वी विल सी द बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ ऑपरेटर्स इन सी शॉप एंड हाउ डू वी यूज द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ऑपरेटर्स इन सी शॉप यूजिंग विजुअल शूट तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सी द बेसिक डेफिनेशन ऑफ ऑपरेटर्स ऑपरेटर्स आर सिंबल और साइन ऑल द ऑपरेटर्स हैव अ स्पेसिफिक सिंबल एज वी हैव अ एडिशन ऑपरेशन फॉर एडिशन ऑपरेशन वी हैव अ ऑपरेटर फॉर सप्रैक्शन वी हैव माइनस दैट मीन्स ऑल द ऑपरेटर्स have a symbol or a sign and each operator symbol sign has a specific operation the plus is a sign or a symbol which is used to add two or more numbers that means plus operator has a task for of addition in the same way minus has a task of subtraction and so on that are used to perform some all the operators have a specific task in c sharp all the operators are defined into three categories or all the operators are categorized into three categories first we have a unary operator second we have a binary operator and the third one is your ternary or conditional operator these are the three types of operator in c sharp Unary operator. What do you mean by unary operator? When an operand, when an operator uses only one operand to perform its task, is called as unary operator. Now, as for example, we have a operator plus plus. Since this this operator plus plus uses only one operand, that is your I. this is called as operand and this is your operator whatever the operator uses the variable is called as operands since this operator uses only one operand to perform its task that's why this operator is called as unary operator in unary operator we have a increment operator and decrement operator these are the two operators that are in unary now binary operator when an operator uses a uh, two operands to perform its task is called as binary operator as for example i am writing n1 plus n2 n1 is an operand n2 is also an operand plus is an operator that means this plus operator uses a two operand to perform its task therefore it is called as binary operator in the same way n1 is less than n2 again this is an operator a operator hai and this is your n1 variable or an operand this operate operator uses a two operands to perform its task therefore it is a binary all the arithmetic operators are binary operator all the relational operators are binary operator all the logical operators except the not this is not a binary this is a unary operator not not basically is used to uh, negate ne ne negation this is used for negation that means if the value of the variable is true okay, this operator makes the value as false if it is a false then it is true therefore it is a unary operator and assignment operator so these are the operators that are belongs to the category of binary operator okay. now we will first uh, see the examples of unary and binary operator and then we will move to the ternary operator or a conditional operator now just start with the visual studio i am declaring a variable a which is equals to 10 now i will print console dot write line and we are printing a plus plus so in this case 
the value of the a will be incremented by 1 as we can see in the output this way now it will display the a plus plus r as a why because uh, in this case we are incrementing the value of the a by 1 but we are using a post increment method there are two ways to write this plus plus operate either we can do the post increment or we will do the pre increment in post increment we will write this operator after the operand operand ke baad we will write this operator but in case of pre increment we will write first operator and then operand since we are using a post increment method what does it mean it will first display the value of a and then it will increment the value of a that means the value of a is incremented by 1 but after the printing of the value of a now again suppose i will print i will again print the value of a now again we will print the value of a as we can see here now this will display the answer as 11 as we can see as we can see here that means the compiler incremented the value of a by 1 and it is stored in the memory but since we are using a post increment we first print the value of a and then increment the value of a in the same way suppose we are doing pre increment in this case both the answer both the answer will be same as we can see 11 and 11 so this is the basic difference between pre increment and post increment so it depends on you either you can do the pre increment operation or post increment operation so this is all about the basic uh, of unary operator now just declare a variable n1 equals to 10 and 2 equals to 20 and then try to calculate the sum of the number n1 plus n2 now in this case we are using a binary operator binary operator why it is a binary operator because here we are using a two operands n1 and n2 these are the operands and plus is an operator so this plus operator uses a two operands to perform its task therefore we are call it binary operator so now this is the example of binary operator just print console dot write line sum equals to plus sum as we can see here it will show the addition of this two number 10 plus 20 is your 30 in the same way you can also use a uh, one of the binary operator that is your relational operator you can compare these two values n1 is less than n2 now in this case we will see all the relational operator returns either true or false now in this case 10 n1 is 10 so 10 is less than 20 that means it is a true the output of this will be true. Now just change the value of this operator uh, variable. Suppose I am making this as 100. Now this will return false. This time n1 is less than n2 returns. Also why? Because n1 is not less than n2. So these all are the examples of binary operator. Now moving to the next type of operator that is your conditional operator or ternary operator. So do remember students conditional operator is your question mark colon. Question mark colon is this two operator 
कंडीशनल ऑपरेटर इज मेड अप ऑफ यूजिंग दिस टू ऑपरेटर क्वेश्चन मार्क को तो दिस ऑपरेटर इज ऑल्सो नोन एज टर्नरी ऑपरेटर एंड द टर्नरी ऑपरेटर इवेल्युएट्स अ बुलियन एक्सप्रेशन दैट मीन्स दिस ऑपरेटर रिटर्न टू वैल्यू आइदर ट्रू और फॉल्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन वट एवर द एक्सप्रेशन इट विल रिटर्न अ एक्सप्रेशन वन आइदर एक्सप्रेशन वन और एक्सप्रेशन टू based on the condition based on the so as we can see here okay, the syntax of conditional operator so we have a condition so condition is either true or false so if this condition is true suppose the condition specified in conditional operator is true the expression 1 is evaluated if this condition is false the expression 2 is evaluated So this is the basic working of the conditional operator. Okay, now we will see the example of the conditional operator. Okay. So just see. Now I am taking a two numbers from the user. So we will write console dot write line. Enter the two numbers. Now store this number n one. Convert. dot 2 in 32 and then console dot read line read line this is my first number just copy it and again console dot read line for second number now we start with the uh, the use of conditional operator so i am just declaring a variable So we can uh, declare any variable. I am saying this variable as large. And now I am asking to the compiler: Is n one is greater than n two? This is my condition. Question mark. As we can see here, it is giving a help uh, either n one or n two. So after question mark, right, we will write either n one. That means the expression one is your n one, and the expression two is your n. so if this condition is true the condition specify uh, in the conditional operator if it is evaluated as true ye true hai so now it will return expression 1 that means the n1 is stored in large if this condition is false in this case n2 will be stored in large that means Uh, this is a simple program to find out the largest of two number using a conditional operator so whatever the larger number right it, it it is stored in the large so now we will write uh, we will print the largest number large equals to plus large now now we will execute this program we will type two numbers 10 20 now in this case n2 is greater so it will return 20 the same way again execute this 20 and 10 again it will return 20 large equation so either n1 is greater or n2 is greater it returns a largest value between n1 and n2 so this is the basic use of conditional operator so in c sharp we have a three types of operator unary binary and ternary operator i hope you uh, this is all about the operators in c sharp i hope you all understand understand this session thank you so much